fighting. It's something with which many Puerto Rican children are all too familiar. Mental health experts say they're outgunned by the forces of crime and violence. When we return, deep wounds to the youngest witnesses. From day one, they're born into a community that is denying them the rights to healthy growth. When a child witnesses violence, the psychological wound can be deep and slow to heal. San Juan, Puerto Rico is one of the U.S. cities where such trauma to young minds is common. These drawings are not the trophies of proud parents. They're the case records of psychologists. Monsters that are threatening uh, a child mm -hmm. and the child's house. Okay. But there's always somebody watching for his safety. Uh -huh. Who is that moment. somebody who's watching for safety? It must be his mother and father. He avoided being alone. Therapists at San Juan's Mental Health Clinic discuss a 10-year-old boy who saw his grandfather murdered. The boy attempted suicide three times, jumping from second-story windows, breaking and dislocating bones. After 10 months of mental therapy, he appears to be healing. Actually, there haven't been any suicidal threats since April 1992. There is improvement. He still needs to continue therapy, but he has improved. Even for children who are not witnesses, the fear of violence can distort childhood. Now for a, a, a parent to let his children go to a park to play baseball or to ride a, a bicycle, is so stressing. If they come here, they cannot sleep. So it was like very traumatic. <laughs> Officials say the crime rate in Puerto Rico ranks just below that in Washington, D.C. Metal bars may be able to protect property, but they do nothing to hold back the waves of crime and violence crashing against the minds of children. The children that we're treating are getting the bad end. From day one, they're born into a community that is denying them the rights to healthy growth. The problem isn't just acts of crime. Three-year-old Nicole Valcarcel witnessed the violence of police forcibly arresting her parents. Her grandmother came to the mental health clinic because she didn't know how to deal with the girl's subsequent problems. Nicole can't really explain what's troubling her, so therapists use toys and games. And how they interact tells us a lot about what's going on in that child. His anxieties or her anxieties, fears, fantasies, angers, frustration. Vamos a prepararle comida buena. Her therapist says Nicole is beginning to open up. But when she plays with the dollhouse, she pretends it's a prison like the one holding her parents. <laughs> Therapists say it's important to treat the whole family. They don't expect to erase the mental trauma of violence. What we can do is help children develop the necessary personal skills and social skills so that they can mature in a more healthy way. But therapists say they cannot solve the problems, as long as for some children, it is unsafe to play. Puerto Ricans hotly debate whether to strengthen or cut their ties to the union. And one factor is how that relationship affects, for good or ill, the health of the people of Puerto Rico. Next week, patients who didn't just accept their doctor's words. Why do some patients set out on their own searches for cures, and what happens when they do? We leave you with a parting look at Puerto Rico. For CNN's medical news team, I'm Andrew Holtz. For more medical news and features, watch the health edition of Living in the 90s each Tuesday morning at 10.30 Eastern here on CNN.